audience. However, Derek's work doesn't stop there. I'd like you to meet Kay and Matthew Oliver, who are mother and son. Now, Kay's husband, Trevor, wrote in to tell us about Kay's spiritual side. She's very keen to find out more about her spirit guide and the course that her life is taking. Matthew is Kay's eldest son and for some time now has been experiencing a phenomenon known as 11-11, whatever that may be. They would both like to find out more from Derek. So here they are live in the studio. Nice to see you both. You. Derek, take... And we're dying to find out, we all are, about what 11-11 is. So yes. take do you want me to start with 11-11 or start your lovely Matthew, guide? 11-11. 11-11. Okay, now quickly can I say, Matthew, I've been asking about you, I've analysed in spiritually your aura, the colours and what have you, and I want to say quickly to the audience and everyone who's watching and listening, that 11-11 going back in... Um, I are, I, we talk about records, records that go back ancient times, and they state a lot about the 1111, believe it or not. It's often said in numerology, when we go from 1 to 11, the 11 is the full cycle of the soul through many incarnations, incarnations learning every type of thing that needed to learn to become the closest to the right-hand side of God, so to speak. Once you arrive at the 11, it's a different reading than what you've read up, good lady, your oh, guide right. says. Oh, right. Do you understand me? Yes, I do. Yes. Thank you. Because yes. she watched over your show when you were reading up about this, you see. Yes. <laughs> oh, so they watch in, don't they? <laughs> but can I just say this to you? Um, also, she's given you a, a deeper spiritual meaning to this now, okay? Right. And I would say this to you, because 11 can, in digits can go one and one is two, but we can say 11 and 11 make 22. It's often said some of the greatest souls that's ever come to this planet, to this earth, have been the likes of, if you like, Jesus, Mother Teresa, all humanitarian caring for the world and people, also Gandhi, and also the great Buddha. Now, it's not saying, Matthew, I'm placing you on that pedestal, <laughs> but I'll say you've been born into this lifetime, and I did not been, I would tell you otherwise. But you've been born into this life that when you get to your 33rd year or thereabouts, you'll find instrumentation of change. Things will happen within that you will be um, uh, later. And you're very, very, um, I do this to you. Uh, in your, if you were in the world of spirit, you would be of above teacher class. You would be a, a leader spiritually. Um, so I, I'm very privileged to be on air with you with this. <laughs> but can I, and I, it's taken me back this a little bit. Um, I will say this to you, that I don't want to uh, overpower you with it, but I will say this, from your 33rd year thereon, you will help humankind. Whatever's happening on this planet then, you will be helping, you will be led to be some form of spiritual leader, okay? It's born within you. Um, you you've always been a free spirit since birth. Mum would know this. Yes, that's right. Is yes. that right? Yes. Well, you see all the great people like Jesus and all these people, we're all free spirits, you know. They like to do their own thing. Yes. Do you understand yeah. me? Yes. And Matthew's been saying just recently, have you not, it's not a question, but haven't you been led as if you wanted to spend time away from home? Yeah, I have, yeah. Thank <laughs> you. Because you're all following in the, your spiritual agenda. You've got a mm. spiritual picture, an agenda. But I'll just say this to you. I would like to talk to you off uh, later and, and point out, even to good mum, what you're likely to expect. But believe me, a golden pathway to helping humankind on this earth. Whew. You're blessed. <laughs> Thanks. Now, can I speak to you just quickly? Yeah. Right. Your lovely guide who comes here and tells me the different things, that a lovely lady, um, she has said she's many times tried to impress upon you, but it seems as if because of your birth sign, what birth sign are you? Gemini. Yeah, the twins. Often is said about the twins, you've got the sensitive side and the other side, because we, it's not your personality, and it's, and it's not two-faced or anything like that. Mm. That's a load of fooey, that. Yeah. The Gemini is a sweet person. Spirit. Actually, yes, and I would say this to you, that because you are a Gemini, you'd find it difficult to, uh, up to now anyway, up to now, mm. to find out who your, your guide is. Yeah. She was a lady in a lifetime that lived in Somerset down that way. Right. She passed over to the world spirit quite young, I've got to say quickly. Yes. She's going to show herself in your sleep after the show. It could happen this evening. Mm -hmm. And you'll see she's light hair like you. She okay. loved classical music and she also loved countryside, which you love. Yes. Because that's been, you know, it's yes. all with you. Do you understand? <laughs> Calm down, Derek. I'm sorry, Calm forgive down. me. I'm so excited for her. I'm so, one of, I, listen, I'm one so, of those sweet Geminis. As I know well. you are. It's good job you said nice things about Gemini. <laughs> thank you very Sorry, we've run out of time. Thank, thank you both very much indeed. And thank you, of thank course, you. to Thanks. Derek. Right.